Okay, everybody, we're back. Today's video is made possible by A Data. Their new Premiere Pro SP920 SSDs feature blazing fast speeds and sizes up to one terabyte. For more information, check out the link below. What's going on, my tech family? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow, where big things are going on in the NVIDIA world. That's right. Today, the brand new 337.50 drivers have been released, and they bring quite a bit of performance to the table. So with that said, we're going to be comparing them to the previous driver, which is the 335.23. Now, another thing that NVIDIA is pushing with this is they're trying to say that a lot of their GPUs are right now going to be ready for DirectX 12 whenever it hits the market. If that's 2015, that's where it's at. But they're trying to say that even the cards they have now are ready for it and that AMD cards using Mantle at this time are only 40% ready, where they're going to be 100% ready. Now, what this is going to mean in real time, eh, I don't know. We'll have to see when DirectX 12 actually get her, who has what on the table at that time. But with that said now, let's jump in and let's check out the brand new driver from NVIDIA and what it brings performance-wise to you, the NVIDIA fan. All right, folks, so for my test today, I'm using an Intel Core i7 CPU. It's the X990. I'm running it at 3.47 gigahertz. I've got 12 gigabytes of RAM. The resolution I'm running is 2560 by 1600 and 1920 by 1080, depending on what we're doing. The driver version you guys can see is 337.50 now. I've already done the update for the system. And I'm using Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate. All right, folks, so there you guys see my test system. It's basically this green system back behind me called the Green Hornet. A lot of people ask about this system. A long time ago, a friend of mine, Jerry, won this thing at NVIDIA event up at that big old giant boat, and then we did some trading, and I ended up with the system. I've liked it, been using it ever since. It works really, really well. Now, I tested with five different things. I tested Batman, which is obviously a game that's done by NVIDIA. I tested another game, which is strictly an AMD game, as you guys know, and that is Dirt 3. And even then, I saw significant improvements with the new driver. For 3D Mark, I used the Fire Strike. I used the full test on this in 1920 by 1080 and also at 2560 by 1600. I also used Heaven 4.0, the DirectX 11 benchmark. Then I use a game that everybody knows, Battlefield 4. You guys all know this. And I want to say on 335.23, inside of the GeForce Experience, it did not give me anything to really optimize the game. As soon as I installed the new driver, for me personally, it all of a sudden gave me a chance to optimize the game, which I did as you guys saw in the screen right here. So let's go ahead, let's jump in, and let's talk about the testing and the results. Let's start off with Batman Arkham Origins. At 2560 by 1600 with the 335.23 drivers, the average frame rate per second was 108. As soon as I switched the driver to 337.50, the average frame rate per second jumped up to 153. At a 1920 by 1080 resolution, I saw 111 with the 335.23 and 160 with the 337.50. Quite an improvement. Next up, Dirt 3. Obviously an AMD game, but there were still some improvements. 2560 by 1600 with the 335.23 driver, I saw 151.90. With the 337.50, I saw 166.77. At 1920 by 1080, with the 335.23, I saw 153.83, and with the 337.50, I saw 166.21. Also a good improvement. Next up is Heaven 4.0, which is the DirectX 11 benchmark. At 2560 by 1600, the 335.23 driver showed 62 average frames per second. As soon as I installed the new driver, I got 76 average frames per second. At the 1920 by 1080 resolution, the average frames per second were 93 with the 335.23, and with the 337.50, we saw a jump to 112. Next up is 3D Mark Fire Strike, which we all know is a synthetic benchmark. It's not an exact game, but it's still a cool thing just for some comparisons. So let's go in and let's talk about those scores. At 2560 by 1600, we saw a graphic score with a 335.23 of 75.31. With the 337.50, however, we saw 7730, which is quite a performance. It's a few hundred with just the change of a driver. 
With the 1920 by 1080, we didn't see as much as a performance boost, but we did see some. At 335.23, we saw 12607, and with the 337.50, we see 13201. Not a great improvement, but still an improvement overall. Next up, the game everybody's been waiting for, Battlefield 4, because I know a lot of you people are out there playing this game. My son plays the crap out of it. He asked me to play it, but I'm too busy working. I want to play it. To be honest with you, though, I actually liked playing Battlefield 3 so much, and I find that I get a lot more kills in it, so I still haven't grasped on to the total thing of Battlefield 4. But with the new naval upgrades that have come out, hmm. I think I'm going to have to jump in. Also, folks, just a quick note for testing. Across the board, I had V-Sync disabled. In Battlefield 4, I had it set for its Ultra. When I ran the Heaven 4.0, I had Tessellation on. I had it 2.0 on the anti-aliasing. On all the other things, I had them just left at their default settings at what they were. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Now let's jump in and let's check out Battlefield 4. At 2560 by 1600 with the 335.23 driver, I was seeing 88 average frames per second. I installed the 337.50 driver and I saw 120 average frames per second, which is really an amazing and substantial difference. At the resolution of 1920 by 1080 with the 335.23 driver, I saw 111 average frames per second. As soon as I installed the 337.50 driver, I saw 136 frames per second, which was strictly amazing. All right, folks, so you guys can see between 335.23 and 337.50, there's quite a big difference. Now, DirectX 12 games haven't quite all got out in the market yet, but as soon as they do, NVIDIA wants you to know that this driver fully supports DirectX 12, as will all their drivers going out into the future. As far as Mantle goes, you know that Mantle showed a lot of superior performance and lower end type of stuff. I think that NVIDIA is also going to show the same type of stuff since we've seen so much talked about about the notebook environment. So I'm sure that all these notebooks that they have out, you're going to see much substantiated performance on those because I noticed across all the slides that we saw during the presentation, all were showing Mantle versus this new driver. And it really showed this new driver 337.50, just really just, you know, kicking some serious butt across the board as far as drivers go. So basically you guys seen it folks, a lot of advancement as far as frame rates going all that stuff, you get better performance. And I'm using a 690, which is a dual card. This is kind of like SLI performance, but I know there's gonna be a lot of testing out there. We'll test it out with other stuff as well, but this was just launch day. So we just had to get it together and get it to you. So that's it folks, DirectX 12, lots of performance there. Hope you guys like it. 337.50 is out today, install it. And hey, let us know your results. I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow. Thanks for watching this morning, for watching this video as well. Um, hey, all the information will be down below. Make sure you guys check that out, the button, like button, which I know you guys are going to hit. And tell me thank you. And we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more Tech Fitness.